Well, one of the concerns about Chuck Hagel is that he might have some unsavory friends, as conservatives say. That's why they had to lock him down, man. That's why the Republicans filibustered him today, or among the reasons. Well, uh, Breitbart's website uh, is the one that actually started bringing up certain rumors. Uh, Breitbart news editor at large, Ben Shapiro, wrote an article called, quote, Secret Hegel Donor? White House Ducks Question on Friends of Hamas. <gasps> So it turns out Hegel might be getting money from a group called Friends of Hamas. So then immediately this lights the conservative blogosphere and entire conservative media on fire. It goes from Breitbart to all of a sudden Mo Lane at Red State talks about it. And he says, all they have done to do to debunk it is to have Hegel reveal his foreign donors. Well, my God, we came up with a conspiracy and the White House won't actively debunk it right away. But well, that's it. They must be guilty, just like they were with the uh, birth certificate. So then it jumps to the birthday. Then it goes to the National Review and Andrew Stiles uh, runs with it. And he says, well, there are rumors abound on Capitol Hill. But you guys are the ones that started the rumors. Is there a single link to any other news story? No, it always comes back to the same Breitbart story, which was made up in the first place. And it was only three paragraphs. And one of the paragraphs were like, huh. The White House dismissed our concerns. Wait till you find out why they dismissed them. Okay, so then we go from National Review to uh, two or organizations that are described as conservative pro-Israel news organizations, Arutz Sheva and al -Gaminer. Positive I'm saying that wrong, but they, they, and they've got concerns. Everybody's got concerns. Oh my God, friends of Hamas, okay? Then you go to Hugh Hewitt, a well-known conservative. And he asked Senator Rand Paul, my God, what's happening here? And Rand Paul says, ah, I know, he says, quote, you know, I saw that information today also, and that is more and more concerning. With each day, there are new things coming out. Now, I love that because what information did he see? The same information from Breitbart. Does he have any evidence? Has anybody put forward any evidence that Hegel has gotten donations from friends of Hamas? None. But uh, there are more stories every day. <laughs> every day we invent new stories to smear them with. That would be, I guess, a schmear on Hegel. All right. How many bagel references can we make when it comes to Chuck Hagel? All right, so we move forward. Then where does it jump from uh, after that? Then, well, uh, we go to Mike Huckabee, of course, uh, famously of Fox News. He's concerned about it, too. He said, oh, my God, if, this, if the tr rumors are true that he has received friends, then, well, this would sink his nomination. Then where do we go next? Then we go, shockingly, another Fox host, Fox Business host Lou Dobbs. And he asked National Review columnists, so we're back to the National Review, another conservative organization, Andrew McCarthy. And McCarthy says on Dobbs' show, quote, there was a report that came out last week, not confirmed yet, but uh, uh, we're also not, or, but the White House also not denying it very vigorously. I love that one. The report is not confirmed yet. In other words, it's not at all confirmed because it's not true. <laughs> but the White House is not denying it vigorously enough. Oh, I see. Well, then it must be true. Okay, it's, wait till you find out about the quote-unquote friends of Hamas. And then uh, finally, uh, we uh, go to um, one of the biggest uh, crackpots in Washington, Frank Gaffney. He's at the Center for Security Policy. This is the, one of the Islamophobe guys. He thinks that there's Sharia law is about to take over and there's secret Muslims infiltrating the U.S. government. But even he doesn't have the <laughs> guts to say that there's actually evidence. In fact, listen to what he says, quote, at this writing, an absent requested disclosure, it cannot be determined whether Mr. Hagel is literally associated with the friends of a designated terrorist organization. The mere fact, though, that it seems entirely plausible, given the nominee's record of hostility towards Israel and his affinity for its enemies, including Hamas's longtime sponsor, Iran, his refusal to make the sort of disclosure expected of all cabinet appointees should be the last straw for Senate Republicans and Democrats alike. I love that one. So we came up with a rumor. It's not at all true. It's not confirmed. And we have no evidence of it. But the fact that we thought that it was possible shows you that we should vote against them anyway. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, David Weigel wrote a great piece about this on Slate. So they did some journalism. Well, they uh, asked uh, the Treasury Department, you guys have a list of uh, s s groups that might be sponsoring terrorism. Is a group called Friend of Hamas on it? Nope. 
Let's say, okay, well, let's be fair. Let's go to the State Department. They might have a different list. And Okay, to terrorist groups or funding or associated with. Friends of Hamas. Nope. And then they did a Lexus search. A Lexus search is an exhaustive search of all the news articles to find out if there was anyone that had ever mentioned a group called Friends of Hamas. Before all of this nonsense, the number of times Friends of Hamas was mentioned was zero. That's because they made it up. There is no such group called Friends of Hamas. Out of whole cloth. But everybody's talking about it. Well, you know, I'm saying, I mean, look, if we're concerned about it and we've got concerns and then the people are talking and there's concerns, well, obviously we've got to vote no. They eventually went to a conservative at uh, one of these organizations and they asked them, hey, what do you think about this uh, Friends of Hamas stuff? And he said, listen, if anybody actually wanted to funnel money to Hamas, do you think that they would call the group Friends of Hamas? <laughs> He's like, no, they would be a little bit more clever about the name. So it's not a very good way of hiding the fact that you are friends of Hamas. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, one final point. Dave Weigel had a great joke in here. He said, this group is so non-existent, Manti Teo's girlfriend might be working at it. 